Uh, right now I'm gonna go to the, get my yellow fever shot. I'm just gonna take the Metro bus to downtown, to the hospital, and then next to the hospital, there's supposed to be this immunization office. So then we'll find out. So guys, I came here to the hospital to get my immunization for yellow fever. And this place is, look, this hospital doesn't look like it's in the best part of town. It's uh, kind of shady. I definitely wouldn't want to be here at night, but uh, right now it looks fine. Look, they have a subway up there, or a metro. I didn't know that. But yeah, um, I've been walking a lot to get here. I should've just taken a taxi. But I'm not sure where to go now, because it's like emergencies. So I'll just have to ask. I don't know if you guys can see those buildings, but uh, it's definitely not the nice part of uh, Lima for sure. So guys, this seems to be like a hospital for like, uh, well, it's definitely like a public hospital. So there's a lot of people here. And uh, I hate this because I went to three different doors and they all told me to go to a different place. Like, they really don't know where it is. So they're like, oh, you can't come in through here. You have to go somewhere else. So I went to like three different doors. And at the end, it was like the first place that I went to. So at the end, I had to come back to the same place that I first went to. It's nuts. And you know, I don't care, like, you know, I gotta get my shot for yellow fever. I'm not sick, but I can just imagine, like, the people that need, like, are sick or, like, they need help and they just keep sending them to the wrong places. That's the people that get fucked. So I guess they don't even have the shots here. <laughs> uh, such a long trip. So they sent me to a different hospital now, which is the, the children's hospital, which is even farther away, but I'll go there. I might not even get my visa today again. So as you guys can see, this is the children's hospital. It's full of uh, children here. Oh yeah, finally. There's even a sign that says international vaccinations right there. So this has got to be the right place. Let's just hopefully they have shots. Yes. Uh, yeah, so this is what I was looking for. It was like 35 bucks. So guys, I just came out of the embassy. And again, I'm not sure if it was because I came in right before they closed, like at 12, right at 12, they were closing. But I got in, and then they closed the door. But I'm not sure it's because of that or what, but they told me that I was missing some papers, which I'm pretty sure I went to the website and I have every single paper that the website says from the embassy of Brazil. But she was like, oh no, you need a bank statement. I'm gonna check the website, but I think she just wanted me to get out because they were closed. But all right, next, now we're going to uh, this other part of town. Right now I'm back in Mayor Flores. But I'm gonna go to this other part of town to see if I can get a job at a hostel. Work for like two weeks here. So there's another problem. I only got 30 days visa to stay in Peru. Uh, it's supposed to be 90 days, but they only gave me 30 at the border. And I never checked that. I wish I could like stay here for like a month and a half just to uh, burn time from here to the World Cup. But uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to just be here like a, two weeks and then go to Brazil. So guys, yeah, so I just went to this hostel to look for a job. It's called Cirque Hostel, like Circus. And the lady was really, really nice. She gave me like free water. And but they, they don't have any uh, any openings. They already have like two volunteers working there. But she was really nice. A very nice lady. So now I have nothing else to do. I just gotta wait till tomorrow and go to the embassy again. And then 
they should give me my visa tomorrow for sure and then I'll just I'll just leave to Cusco tomorrow night man Max is gonna prepare a dish tonight what's the name of it man it is shepherd's pie shepherd's pie shepherd's pie it's a good Irish dish <laughs> look forward to it grandmother and her sister well she That is a, that's not original. It's a hearty meal right there. Yeah. It's like everything that you can put on. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at this. Looks really good. Very filling. I want to thank Mac. That's, that's a good guy right there. Good man. You're not going to want to eat until next week. I know, right? <laughs>